Okay, so we are back again. Sorry about that. There were some issues with this. Um, I will work better. I'm sorry that happened. The game just glitched out, especially for me because I'm just starting out with the stream. This is still early access provided by EA. So yeah, I again I need to tweak some settings on YouTube. So please hold on tight. We are about to begin in just a few minutes. So you just need to tweak some settings and just categorize um, the game on YouTube so people will know that it's The Sims 4. So many things happening. Okay. Hopefully the game will not glitch out this time. Hi guys, hi again, sorry about that, um, I'm glad that you are back, I hope that this time around it's not glitching, I'm giving my best to make it work again. Okay, so let's give this another shot. Um, I did try the game like yesterday and everything was working fine, so I have no idea why that glitch happened. So hello to everyone who has just joined in. Um, in case you don't know, my name is Elvin and I'm the administrator of the Sims Community website. So I got early access from EA for the Sims 4 PC, oh my god, no the PlayStation 4 version to check it out, test it out, write a few articles and so on. So how are you guys doing? Throughout this live stream I will be checking out your messages, this chat and everything that's going on. So this will be similar to previous live streams where it's a bit more interactive in terms of listening to your feedback. So yeah, I am back again. Hopefully the game will work properly. Uh, so far so good. We had some issues um, with the user interface. But so far so good. So uh. someone uh, suggested the foodie trade for this one and um, insane, I think so. And evil. So an evil insane sim who wants to get rich. Not bad. <laughs> so let's choose her voice. And um, okay, so give me name suggestions for this sim. I will be reading through the chat. So let me know. Audio keeps breaking out. Okay, so... Kylie Jenner. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that, so... Okay, because um, we have an awesome moderator named Krista. We are about to name her... Krista? Krista? Okay, so one of the great things about PS4 is the joystick, so... You have this touchpad that you can use to just go through the keyboard more fluently without having to go like this, you know? It's great. And the last name suggestions... Um, last name Jovic. <laughs> is there a code? No, there is no code for this live stream. We will have another live stream. Um, I think tomorrow where we will give away a code for the Sims for Cats and Dogs. Okay, so Krista Bailey, not bad. No, not Bailey, Bailey B. Okay, so Bailey, we have the first name, the last name, and now we are about to modify her face a little bit, her facial features. 
I'm what I really like about the console version is that they really did a good job at mm. implementing the console version. So as you can see when you move around the face it's not as sensitive as it is on the PC version which means um, that's a good thing because you are using a controller and um, you want to get some things right without you know things getting in your way so yeah also you can go no 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 wait 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 I just want to see um, the detail mode for the facial features okay so you use the right joystick to move around the camera and the angles so as you can see um, I'm manipulating this in his eyes, choosing the nose. And the game is just so smooth, so the PS4 and Xbox are perfect consoles for um, playing The Sims 4. And I cannot wait to see how it will run when we install multiple packs for The Sims 4. Yes, we do have cheats for the Sims 4 console version, so don't you worry. I'm going to showcase some of the cheats. Um, basically, it's the same cheat that you get on the PC version, so motherload, don't you worry. Motherload cheat is there. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I think this was a hairstyle from one of the updates. I think it's from the Day of the Dead update challenge. Ah. I love this hairstyle, so let me just pick a hair color. I think she looks fine like this. Maybe just change the earrings. So what I want to tell you is that just like in Create a Sim and you get the same thing in build mode where when you select an item you have to choose a preset as well. So that's one more step that you have to do, unlike with the, pre uh, with the PC version. But it still functions really good. So we have some new followers. Let me just pick some glasses. Or maybe not. She does need glasses. Makeup. I think she's fine like this. And wait, I forgot to remove the necklace. So you can do so by clicking on the necklace. Wait, I think it's the triangle button. Yep, it worked. So let's zoom out and maybe just change, change some things about the body, make her mo more tick. Uh, so are there glitches on PS4? Well, I just encountered one where it basically made me to redo my, my live stream. But just like any game launch, um, you will probably experience in the first few weeks some glitches that are not present on the PC version. So yeah, this, this is what I'm talking about. Um, when you click on some user interface um, features, you will have to click a few more times to get just the thing that you want. So for example, we have these categories that you have to go through in order to create a sim. We just pick an outfit, you know. So, what should we pick for her? Oh, I saw this cool jacket. And now the buttons oh no i i clicked something <laughs> wait wait i think there's like a uh, redo okay so this is probably um what i clicked before which was causing the issue i'm still new to the controllers i love i love these buttons i'll keep them on Pick some shoes. Oh, I like these ones. They are perfect for her personality. 
Can you make a toddler? Yes, so anything that was released in previous updates except the November updates from a few days ago so they will add that in a few days or weeks I don't know when but they did say that it's happening so make a toddler I will but I probably won't like include it in a household just because I want to focus more on creating this time ah. I will probably do another live stream um, once the console DLC come out. Okay, so we have the everyday clothing for her. Um, I think it's the R1. Yes, so using the R1 on PlayStation 4, you switch between outfit categories. So, joystick here you get some more ideas about the controls in Create a Sim. So in each game mode, you get a certain information about controls. Mm -hmm. I think this outfit looks nice on her. We are about to leave this. Maybe just change the preset for uh -huh. this. Okay. So what should she wear? I love this. No, wait. So let me check out how the style looks interface looks. Yep, it's basically all the same thing. <laughs> and swimwear, um, I just don't like the bottoms. I will change that. Make it more match. Okay. So one of the things that you probably wouldn't like about the console version is the fact that you don't have the ga gallery here, so the gallery is not included with the console version, sadly. But they did mention the fact that there is a possibility that they might include the gallery version, it all depends on the feedback that they get after the release. So we created a sim. And uh, let's create a toddler. Someone suggested a toddler. So let me pick a toddler here. Oh my god, it's so cute. So, yeah. I'm not sure if anyone before um, for the Sensor sort of console made a toddler. They probably did, but this is my first time creating a toddler on the console version. How are the controls so far? Well, the more you play the game, the more you get used to it. So it works so smooth. Um, and well, compared to previous Sims console games, this is the ones. This is the game that really is is easy to learn. So yeah, the controls are great. I mean, I played. The last thing I played was The Sims 3 on PlayStation 3 and the, con uh, the controls weren't so smooth, you know? Hello! Is the game worth it? Well, if you like The Sims 4 base game on PC, you will like The Sims 4 on console. It's, it's, it's basically like that. So if you experience the game on PC and you like it, you will like the console version. So many cute things. Hi, hi. Okay, so I think I showcased some of the things about toddlers. Someone wanted me just to create a toddler, you know? And I think that's it. Wait, so delete a sim using a triangle on the controller. So, sure. My focus was just to create one sim for this stream so I can continue on with the build mode. So, for me, build mode is a bit exhausting. Um, just because I played The Sims 4 on PC and um, I got used to the controls on PC and on the console version, using build mode is 
a lot more difficult, especially if you played on the PC version, so you will need more time and space to just, you know, get used to the controls, but once you get used to it, you will enjoy the build mode. So let me choose a lot. We will pick this one. As you can see, all the user interface is almost exactly the same like on the PC version. Can you do two players? Nope. Okay, so someone said, um, should I buy all the stuff same again? Well, this is not like making you buy the same game once again. This is just opening up more, um, how can I say, more possibilities to people who don't have the PC which is powerful enough to support The Sims 4. So this is more aimed towards the people who only have PS4 or Xbox One. So you are about to witness uh, the difficulty of building in build mode. Yes, it's loading fast and I'm not sure how it loads on the regular PS4. I have the PS4 Pro, so it does affect the game performance if you have a console which is more powerful enough. Okay, so let's begin with building. As you can see, the user interface is not entirely unlocked. You have to go through a few things to, for the user interface to present to, your, to you. So we need to build a foundation for this house. Wait, okay, so I need to pick walls and a square room. So. So you just wait, I didn't click that. So yeah, you have to zoom in in some areas in order to select things that you want. Yep, the Sydney Living Expansion Pack will be included with the since we're con cheap because you get vampires, sitting living and vintage glamour for just $50. So this is not the previous the previous house you've seen probably um, <laughs> but yeah creating more complex houses in the Sims 4 console is probably going to be a huge challenge. Wait, how do I rotate? No, what did I do? Oh, I pressed the undo button. So you rotate by using L1 or R1. Let me see. Nope, that's undo button. Okay, so I need to check out the controls real quick. So rotating you do by... Um, Oh, oh, okay, so using the R button. Cool, 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 cool. What is this? Um, flat square, no. I'm still not used to the controls. Oh, I wanted to do this. So, a rounded deck. How do I rotate it? I mean, I'm pressing the right controls, but nothing is happening. Oh, I need to place it down. And... Oh, yeah. So, I will place this here. And... Place another one. On the opposite side. So, yeah, you do need to place an object in order to rotate it. Like this. No, wait. Okay, so I need to extend this. I have to tell you guys that I'm already feeling exhausted from build mode. <laughs> it's not the best experience, but like I said, this is the best console version for The Sims 4. So if you have patience, um, you will like this. You just need a little more patience to do some things.
No, wait. Hello to everyone who just tuned in to the live stream. Oh my god, the controls are tricky. Remove fence. Like, just placing down defenses is, is exhausting. <laughs> Can you show us some cheats? I will after I build this house. I mean, I will not. <laughs> Um, I will not build the entire house, you know, make it detailed. I won't do that because it will take me a lot of hours to complete it. Like, as you can see, just removing the fence is a tricky business. Okay. Almost there. Almost. Finally. Okay, fi No. <laughs> This isn't removed. No, wait. So reading the chat. Hola. Hi. Okay, so let's raise the foundation a little bit. Like this. And add some stairs to the entrance. How do you make stuff big and small in, on the console version? I will show that. I think I used that cheat um, during SimsCam. It's not really a cheat, like you just press something on the controller. Wait, okay. Hello to new people joining in. Wait, okay. Okay, so we made the entrance. We need to add a fence. I I have a feeling that I'll focus on the exterior a lot more than wait, I didn't choose this. So replace fences. No, I don't have a fence built. But I can do this. Okay, so this is a lot more easier than I thought it would be. Okay, so I will show the resize cheat feature in a little bit after this. So a lot of you guys want to see how that functions and I will do that now. So let me just pick an object, a random object, for example, Wait, a sofa, any type of sofa will do this mega sofa, for example. So let me just check out the controls to remind myself. Change variants, rotate objects, um, wait, I cannot see um, how to make objects bigger. Place objects, pan camera, change variant, toggle menu, move cursor. Oh my god. I forgot how to make it bigger. So. Wait. I will get to that. I will try everything to see. Oh, this is like going between stories. This is the camera control. No, undo. Okay, I like the undo button. It does its trick. But making objects larger, I'm not sure how to do that. Like, do you guys have any idea how to make objects larger? Have you read anything? If not, I will check out the internet now. I need help. Okay, so nothing is showing up. I don't think like that they made a way to make objects larger. Okay, so I'm playing because I got early access from EA. R2, D-pad down or up? Wait, wait. Um, what's a D-pad? <laughs> Okay. Nope. Nothing is working out. 
I know that I can make like objects bigger or smaller, I just don't know how, so I will show that um, on uh, my website once I figure out how, but right now I have no idea how to do that. So we will move on with other gameplay things. So we built the exterior which is very basic, I know. I need six things for my house. I will not even try to furnish. Okay, so at this point you can see that I am low on simoleons. So I need simoleons and what better way to get simoleons than to use cheats. So I open up the cheat console now and I will use mother look. Wait, I forgot that about this. I need to go back in live mode. So I need to tell you guys about this. Before you use any type of cheat, you need to press one cheat which unlocks all other types of cheats. So you press all the buttons on your controller <laughs> side and you need to enter the testing cheat through. So this cheat, as you can see, you already get like suggestions because I used this cheat before and PS4 like learns which cheats do you use most of the time. So the game will let you know that you are about to use cheats and that you won't be able to use achievements to unlock achievements. So achievements will be um, disabled in the save game where you um, turned on the cheats. So I will do that. And now we have access to cheats. I will type in motherload. As you can see, it's the same cheats as on the PC version. Mother-in-law. No, no, that's not the cheat. Wait, mother, motherly, no, mother, load. Okay. And there we have it. That's the cheat. Thank you for the compliments, Isabel. Yeah, I mean, the cheats are not needed to enlarge objects or make them smaller. But the thing is, thank you Isabel for sponsoring, thank you so much. The thing is the fact that, oh my god, this house is so basic. What did I want to say? I forgot about what I wanted to say. So, the thing is that I don't know how to make objects bigger, you know. I think I knew that during SimScan, but I forgot about it, so... So, Kotsuya Tick said to hold down R2 and L2 and then press up or down to resize. Okay, so thank you for the suggestion. I will try that. I'm really eager to see if anything will work to make an object bigger. So, uh, which one again? R2 and L2. R2, L2 and press up and down. No. It's not working. I mean... Yeah, the only thing that I'm changing are presets. So you can just quickly change the presets by, on the PS4 by pressing the square button. But nope, sorry. It's not working. So we have the stove, we have a fridge. Do we have a fridge? Let me just check it out. Okay, we do. We need a counter. I cannot wait to see um, expert builders like playing the game. And what do they think about this? Because I'm not an expert in building on the P P PC version. So this is just as new to me as it is on the PC. We definitely need more lightning in this room. So I will not build any types of walls, you know, just because <laughs> things are still new to me. I'm still getting used to the to the game and the controls. Another thing I want to mention, as you can see, the the graphic settings are maxed out, so you do not have to worry about 
changing the settings or anything to modify the performance. The game just works fine because it's maxed out and PS4 and PS4 Pro and Xbox One and Xbox One X are all able to support the game at high details. Oh my god, no. This house is going to be wild. This is not even a house. So will they have more DLC for console? Yes, they will. There is going to be more DLC coming out throughout um, the next few months, you know. They will let us know when they release more. But for now, we are only getting the City Living, Vintage Glamour and Vampires. And the perfect patio for those who pre-ordered it or who plan to get it after the game comes out. So we need a TV in here. Okay, this house is not the best. So okay, I figured out how to rotate the object. It's L1 and R L R2, yes. No, R1. So just as I'm new to the console version for The Sims 4, I'm also new to PlayStation 4. I got the console like last week, so things are still new to me. Uh, and I will continue to say this throughout the entire stream. <laughs> we need a coffee table in this house. I know this is not the best room, you guys. This isn't even close to what good builders do and wait I want to change the preset and I can do s no I cannot do it by like this wait 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 no this is rotating um, which ones no okay no no do not do that how did I change the preset? I forgot. Well, it doesn't matter now. I can use the design tool. Click like this and just go through the presets. Okay, so we have a bedroom. <laughs> it's not a bedroom, I know. We have a living room and a kitchen basically but we need to create a separate bathroom you know because privacy privacy matters okay so that lighting is gone Okay, I will pick the rainbow rainbow door. I'm just reading out the comments. So yeah, custom content and mods will not be available in distance for console for now. I mean, a anything is possible. I'm not the producer. They might upgrade some things and create specific content for the console version, but for now, it is like it is. Okay, what is happening? Oh my god, the potty. Wait. We need lightning here. So, let me just add a few lights on the walls this house is so unfinished but like you know i just want to check out the gameplay i do not have enough time to go through details in build mode but you know basics are basics and we need basics right now okay so i read the comments Try this. Try to resize. Um, hold down RT and LT. Okay, so what is D pad? I need to know that. I will Google it out. D pad. 
Oh, the control pad. Okay, so let's try resizing an object one more time. Let's make this toilet bigger. I hope it works out. R2 and L2. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Krista, for helping me out. As you can see, this works. This works. So you press L2 and R2 to make an object bigger. Right now, only the enlarge feature is available, but they will implement, Im implement the shrink feature in one of the next few updates for the Sims 4 console. So yeah, thank you Krista once again, um, this is amazing. So yeah, let's make this toilet, uh, you know, like an achievement after so much research that we can use enlarge on the console but I need another toilet <laughs> need a functioning one oh my god the controls this is so new to me okay so I just added the painting because to make it more pretty but it just makes it look more disturbing yeah let's add a painting to the bedroom quote bedroom it's not an actual bedroom like this is this isn't even an actual house this this is minimalism so wait let me just update the comments where is that giant version of me next to the mailbox okay okay so this is just so random so hello to everyone who is just tuning in okay let's continue so we need a desk, you know, to search online and yeah, a study room, quote, not an actual study room because this is not even a house. This is a mimic of a house. I'm mimicking a house. This is nothing like it should look like in real life or in sin. So, I think we added all the basic features that we need. Okay, we don't have the door, the entrance door, which is bad. I need to add it right now. So, yeah, this one. Okay, here it is. Okay. <laughs> So this house is just so random, but yeah, we need to add a roof because it needs to look like a home. If it's not a home from the inside, it will be a home from the outside. So yeah, just a basic roof to cover things up. Oh my god. So yeah, this is a home now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so embarrassed of my building skills. Yeah, as you can see, um, the features from the November update are still not available on the console version, but they will add it in the next few days or weeks, I don't know. But it will be added. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Let's leave it like this. So yeah, there are also basements from the update. How did you get early access? Um, EA gave it to me. I think, I think the house is finished. Um, just maybe add some bushes or trees outside.
No, I don't want this one. I want the pink one. Okay, so yeah, maybe a pool. Back door. When does it come out? So the Sims 4 console is coming out on PS4 on November 17th. And it's already available on Xbox One for those who have EA access. Those who do not have EA access and who have pre-ordered it, the digital deluxe edition will get it on November 14th. And those who just pre-ordered the regular version will get it on November 17th. I know there are so many release dates, it's a bit confusing, so many editions, so many bundles, so many packs, but this is just for the release. Um, there are so many, many things to move from the PC version to the console. I think we are ready. Okay, so this was just so exhausting, I need a drink. So yeah, don't, the house is just too beautiful. I know, I know. It's it's something that I'm really proud of. I'm so proud of this work, you know. So do you prefer um, off or PS4? I don't know what you mean, drink the pool. <laughs> so I do prefer the PS4 over Xbox. I don't know why, I just think that aesthetically it looks more good and some of the features like I know that Xbox One X is more powerful right now but before Xbox One X came out I planned the PS4 Pro version which was one of the most um, powerful consoles out there back at that time but yeah X Xbox One came out the X edition and it blew out the competition away, I know, but the PS4 version is, <laughs> is good. Okay, so I think she needs a job, you know, <laughs> or maybe just go to a venue to meet other sims, that's a good idea. So let's go and travel. Oh, do you prefer PC or PS4? I definitely prefer the PC version. Um, all the control things aside, um, the, PS, the PC version is better because right now we have custom content, we have the gallery, and we have all packs currently available on the PC version. I mean, the console version is still good for those who cannot afford a better PC or who are just so used to the controls on the console. So yeah, this this is basically for people who just prefer consoles over PC. There are a lot of people who played The Sims 3 on the consoles and were a bit disappointed because EA did not continue with the support of the game. Like they only released The Sims 3 base game, <clears throat> sorry, The Sims 3 base game as well as The Sims 3 patch and that was about it. So they released two games and stopped and people were like disappointed because they did not move other packs to the console. Okay, so there are currently no sims at the bar except the bartender, but I know that they will arrive shortly. No, not tend the bar interaction. We don't want to, we want to drink. Grab chips, order a drink. Is there no city to go to? So we have three worlds available on the base game. So we have Newcrest, Oasis Springs, and Willow Creek. Is Cats and Dogs coming out to PS4 and Xbox? Um, so if you read on our website, there was a leak like a month or two months ago where a Polish website called Ampic said that it's coming out on the consoles. But Simguru Drake debunked that like a few days after saying that it's not coming out on November, you know, 
but that still confirms the fact that it's coming eventually. So eventually the game will come out on the console. Okay, so there are no sims. I think it was a better thing to do to go to a park. I mean, we can definitely expect more sims there. So, how much will City Living be for PS4? It will be the same price as on the PC, so 40 bucks. Get a job. I will. I mean, my sim. <laughs> can you deactivate the controls icon? Good question. You can do that. Um, I will do that after this game finishes loading. Okay, the chat is crazy. Hello to everyone who is just tuning in. Okay, so let's disable the controls um, thing on the user interface. Where is it? Okay, so gameplay, I think. No, other. Yeah, you see this control overlay reminder. You can turn that off. And it will disappear from the game. So that's it. Let's let's see if there are any more sims here. Can you download houses? No, you cannot. You can only like create houses and um, storage them in the library. So this is basically. Um, the thing that you will have instead of the gallery like we have this on the PC version as well this is called my library where you will be able to storage your creations so houses lots sims rooms and everything like that you can save that in your game library so yeah um, the creators of the game already have like some presets available here and some pre-made lots so yeah, let's meet this gardener. Friendly introduction. Yeah, so buying the DLC and the bundle is much more um, recommended because you will save up to $20 or euros depending on your currency. Okay, so she's meeting new people or not? <laughs> yeah, she hasn't started the conversation. Uh huh. The samba. Hi. Sila. Kim Lamina. Narza. Oh. Yeah, that's right, Isabel. Um, so the game the is door. like so much focused on people who like only had the console. <laughs> so. I mean, like if you already had the PC <laughs> version and a PC who is, which is powerful <laughs> enough, like there is no need to buy on buy it on consoles unless you really want to. Like no one is making you do it. <laughs> yeah, I love to play, play it from the sofa, so right now I'm sitting on my sofa and um, looking at my TV and just enjoying reading the chat and playing with you guys and playing the game. So that's one of the benefits of the console version, like you can relax and wind and play the game from your couch or sofa. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Can you uh, add them? And <laughs> well, I do not understand some of the questions in the chat. 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's start something. So because she's a naval sim, we will be rude to new people. Okay, so she's meeting people, but not in a good way. Sorry. Mock outfit. So so. Tobator, Panka, Janine of Azar, Puimo. Yep, there is no gallery on the console right now. But there might be in the future. Like we don't know. Anything is possible. Mr. Alderoy. Blah 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 Everything you know is what we know as well. Battle chat. Is there a graveyard? Well, there is one in the Sims for Cats and Dogs. But it's not really a graveyard venue. It's only like an area in the neighborhood. Love this live stream. Thank you. Thank you, Baba Jinx. So let's go like fishing, working on some skills, you know, and when we go back, we can start um, finding a job. So where is my sim? Oh, you can just like press this um, button on the controller, which will focus on your sim. Okay, I forgot my, about my sim. The great thing about this is that you notice that the game is working so smoothly. So there is no lag. You know that this neighborhood is like so large and full of trees. Um, yeah, the trees are, play a huge aspect in your game performance. So areas with more trees are more likely to lag and to impact your game performance. But as you can see here, the game is running so smoothly. Um, the live stream is not at 60 FPS, so you probably cannot see what I'm seeing. But yeah, I think it's running at 60 FPS right now, which is great. Oh, so there are more, more people here. Let's meet them. In not a good way, because we are evil, you know? Can you show child adoption? Yeah, I mean, we can like end the live stream um, with the child adoption, you know? So, hello to everyone just tuning in. Okay, I forgot to speed the time up. Here is my sim, ready to create new rooms. Throw drinks. Yes, yeah. yes, do that. Bumbler. I mean, yeah, they will constantly um, update the game. Like, if there are any glitches or bugs, I'm sure that they will work on improving them and fixing them. Oh my god, that was so evil. We obey. Poor Sam, but you know, my Sam is evil, so. We don't care. Oops. 
care. Ooh. Yes. Warba. Corbin. Uh, true. Yeah, like, who knows what EA <laughs> has in mind for the Sims 4 console. <laughs> Like, if you read um, one of the articles today, I noticed that in the game files for the PC version, they included, like, all the files from the console on PC. And I have no idea why they did that. They will probably, like, integrate some things, you know? I'm not sure, but they wouldn't, like, include um, files from the console on PC for nothing. So we, you can check out info for more information about that situation. Oh, another thing that I want to show, let me just pause the game because my sim has really low needs. Another thing I want to show is the free camera mode. So this is something similar to the tab mode on the PC version. So in this mode, you can go to, uh, through the neighborhood, through, uh, through the, you know, through live mode without being impacted by the user interface. So you can create some beautiful screenshots in this mode. You see? And wait, let me just click on it again. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, so you can zoom in, zoom out, um, yeah, go lower, go upper, higher, not upper, oh my god, but you know what I'm talking about, so let me just zoom out, yeah, it's beautiful for taking screenshots, this mode is just beautiful, good luck with the stream, thank you, thanks for tuning in, can you split your family, um, I'm not sure what do you mean by that, but you have the household manager, which you can use to like separate sims, add new sims, and you know just manage households like on the PC version. Ooh, so I think it's time to head back home because her needs are not that great. And yeah, I need to for the next console live stream. I need to disable some notifications because. I'm getting a lot. So get a job. Yes, my sim will get a job now. After she takes care of takes care of her needs. Oh my god, wait, how do I, okay, fix it. What up? Hi Sophie, Sophia. When is it coming out? It comes out on November 17th, next week. So she needs to make something to eat. Her needs are really low. So we can like serve dinner. No, not serve. I mean, she's only one sim in this household. Hi. Hello to everyone who are just tuning in. Hope you are enjoying the live stream as much as I am. <laughs> it's amazing. So, let me just speed up <laughs> things. Hopefully, like she wouldn't set the house on fire. We don't want that. So yeah, just like on the PC version, you have multitasking and you can like do multiple things at once to I mean okay okay oh, hi Amelia <laughs> uh. 
I am really not proud of this house, but it's the best thing that I can do right now on the console. She can like go swimming at the pool. Like too bad that too bad that there are no more sims in this household. Yeah, maybe I can like quickly jump in and see what other households are doing right now. Yeah, let's do that. This looks really good. Thank you. I'm not sure if you're complimenting the stream or the game. But in any of those cases, thank you for tuning in. Okay, so maybe we can check out what the gods are doing. They are an iconic household in the Sims series. So hello to everyone who are just tuning into the stream. I hope you enjoyed the console version as much as I am. I am so impressed at how successfully they managed to import some of the features from PC to the console without impacting the gameplay. Thank you for being a huge fan, Yomar or Homar. I don't know, like, how do you pronounce your name? But it, either way, thank you. <laughs> yes, I know that cats and dogs are very popular, but I'm not sure, like, when are they coming out for the console. This is just one of the best games. I know uh, I wouldn't be doing a live stream for it if it wasn't. Good <laughs> story idea. I just subscribed to your channel. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy my future live streams and videos. There is going to be a <laughs> Cats and Dogs live stream tomorrow. Yeah, and I who knows, maybe I'll give away one code for the game. But notice swarms? Uh-huh. I think it's time for dinner. Wait. Oh my god, where is the fridge? Here it is. We have to serve the dinner. This is a huge household. Yep, it's very similar to the PC version. Let me just fast forward it real quickly. Catch on fire. <laughs> Hurry up. My skin's are hungry. Mm -hmm. Probably, I don't know. I haven't checked their needs yet. Wait. Okay, just a little bit. If you can say that it, it's hungry. Time, nope. But yeah, we will call the entire household to the meal. PS4 is best. I mean, I like it. Is it easy to build a nice house on console? Well, it really depends on if you played the PC version before or not. So, if you played the PC version before, you will get frustrated, let me tell you that. So, probably because you're used to some things on PC and want things to work just the same way from PC to console, they won't. And because of that, you might get frustrated and... But for those who haven't played The Sims 4 on PC yet, and will do so when the game comes out. Um, you will probably enjoy it and find it easy to build. Like, it all depends if you played the PC version before or not, so... 
I mean, the latest Xbox that came out, it's so awesome. Are there ghosts? Yes, there are. How are you playing? Well, <laughs> um, easily, you know. So, how are my other sims doing? So, she's playing the violin. But it's midnight, so she should go and sleep, you know? Let me just... Let me just, wait. Stop the interaction, and she should go to bed. It's nap time. Wait, where is Alexander? He should go and sleep as well. What consoles is since we're going to be on? So right now it's only going to be available on Xbox One and PS4. Thank you for tuning in. So how is the game not out yet? Well, we only have a few days until the game comes out. Yes, they gave me an early access code to test out the game, write a few articles, and um, do a few videos. I mean, nothing was mandatory. Um, they just wanted me to check out the game. Because I run a fan site and also, right now, a YouTube channel, as you can see. What is he doing? Oh, he's in the bathhouse. Oh, wait. Let me just zoom out. Yes, if you have EA access... Uh, oh, no, wait. If you have EA access on Xbox One, you will get to play the game right now, which is great. I mean, Xbox One and PS4, they're basically the same games, only different platforms which you are using to play so that's the only change thank you to my new followers hi so wait i just saw like um a few minutes ago there was like this option for my them to check the monsters under the bed no to spray the monster under the bed just in case it comes out so that's one of the features from last year that they also included in the console version so I think that this version is from the PC version of the base game from the last month because they didn't include the November update that just released a few days ago but it's fine, they will make it available soon. Is there any lag or glitches? Well, when it comes to lag, the game is so smooth. I am using the, um, the PS4 Pro. And so far, so good. But I'm not sure about glitches. You know, there, is, there was this glitch with the user interface. Um, but... The game is just coming out, and I'm sure that they will fix a few things that are messy, you know? Can you show us the new update where they added cameras? I would do that, um, but that update was from a few days ago, and the thing is, is that they didn't make it available for the console version. I'm sorry. Do you prefer the PC or console version? Well. Of course that I prefer the PC version because I've been using it for like three years already and I'm just used to it but this is like a great opportunity for those who do not have a PC and just want to play the game from their sofa so let's see what other households are doing we can just check another household see what's going on yes the game is exactly the same 
except you know you do not have the gallery and you do not have option for custom content so let's check our AC Springs so yeah you also get new crest from the update in 2015 you get like so many empty lots but let's go back to Oasis Springs. I love your strings. Thank streams, not strings. Oh my god. Well, thank you, Gracie. I like that you tuned in. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. So let's see. Let's see what the land grabs are doing. Can you live in an apartment? You can do that with the Sims 4 City Living. So I'll see, I'll probably get the Sims 4 bundle for the console next week. And I will check out and do a live stream for all the DLC coming out. And you'll see it in action. Okay, so they're all outside let's just go quickly and speed up a few things let's see he's playing the sims you know this is currently me this is literally me Hi, Alex. <laughs> so, she also wants to go on the PC, like the, he also is going to the PC as well, so, so many sims are obsessed with computers on the console version, so you can see the irony of this. <laughs> Yep, not gonna happen. Wait. Oh, someone wants to see the adopt feature in action. So, yeah, let's do that. I'm not sure if you can adopt using the phone. Maybe hire a service. I think there's the option. We just cancel the sleep. Interaction. Why aren't you streaming at... Well, because of the technical difficulties, you know, I cannot, like, start out at such high settings right now. I need to upgrade my internet. Um, and I would do so. So I will check out some better streaming options soon. So, okay. So there is no option for adopting. Okay, so my game became unresponsive. <laughs> No way. So nothing is working like it should. I'm currently pressing a few things. I hope the game glitches glitches out, you know. Doesn't glitch out. I cannot say I cannot say it properly, but you know, I hope the game is fixed soon. Because nothing is becoming responsive and the game doesn't react to me clicking. So yeah, the game glitched out. And I think this is like the perfect opportunity to end this live stream. You know, I showcased some of the basic features for the Sims 4 console. We went through the creative sim, we went in build mode and that house that I built wasn't so great, you know. But still, thank you so much for tuning in. I will be doing a live stream of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs tomorrow, where we'll get to see some more features that I d probably didn't cover in the previous three live streams. So, The Sims 4 console is coming out next week. We will have all the latest information about it on our website, simscommunity.info. So you can tune in there. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I will talk to you guys soon and have an amazing day. Bye.